podium and just let the instrument do its own talking. And you can decide whether you like the sounds, or don't like the sounds, etc. But this is the new Hammond Elegante. They took two words from, from the past, Elegante and Aurora Classic. There is a spinet model of this. If you get the spinet model, you get the spinet keyboards, but you get all the same electronics. You don't get less of an instrument if you buy the uh, Aurora Classic. They all have a nice roll top on them. So if you have grandchildren, they don't mess it up. Okay. Uh, you have lights up above here. You also have lights on the pedals if you so desire. If you're one of those people who like to look down and see your feet, etc. And uh, the only thing I've added to this instrument, I bring this along with me, this is a controller that went on the old B3s. How many people are familiar with the old B3s? That's the big Hammond organ over in here. And we always had a Leslie switch that we'd use with our hands. Well, so what I'm going to do is you'll see me working this back and forth, and that's for the draw bar or flutes or tibia sounds strictly uh, to turn on the tremolo. We call it the Leslie. And the Leslie speaker, as a matter of fact, back there. I will do some of the concert. Most of it right through this instrument, and then when I go to the draw bars later on, I'll go through the Leslie so you can hear that. This little part here is called a modulation wheel. If I have a guitar and I want to bend the guitar or a trombone and bend the guitar or the trombone, anything I want to make an effect or bend anything, that's what this is for. So if you see me doing things with this, that's exactly what it was. And most of the instruments today, if you are somebody who has the new electronics, they all have discs on them so that you can buy... Leonard's You Are the Star series, and you get beautiful arrangements, and you can play along with them or just listen to them. Hopefully, you just won't turn them on and listen to them and go do your watch or have lunch. <laughs> but there are some people who do it. Something like the Disc Clavier is by you know uh, another another company with a Y. Anyway, I am going to start off with a little uh, um, sequence of uh, how many people remember the song T for Two? You remember T for Two? I don't do it, but I just thought I'd ask. <laughs> We're going to start with T for Two. And today you've got to have do's and do bops and do wops. And so I thought I'd like to start off with some of our sounds here do's and do bops with T for Two. And uh, since I'm a firm believer that if you're going to buy an instrument with pedals, you should play them. So if you watch my feet, at no time do they leave my ankles. <laughs> if you if you are a one finger player and that you have the ca uh, capabilities, an instrument of doing just one finger play and you want to explore it, we also have that as well. So I may you may see me to take my feet off once in a while, and what I'm doing then is letting the instrument do its thing. So let's start off with T for two. I hope you enjoy it. If you don't, I showed up in San Diego and I'm here, so what the heck. <laughs>
part. And doo bops and doo doos down here. Doo doos. Remember this one? Too. <laughs> and you also have some the sopranos of doo doos and the uh, altos and the tenors. And well, geez, let me find out if I can put a Hawaiian guitar in here. And so I got a Hawaiian sound. Here's my little teaching tidbit. On all the instruments that have the glide, you whether whether you whether you use your hand or you have it on your foot switch, and sometimes it can be your know, foot switch on the right or left can be told to do the glide. When you do an arpeggio on a Hawaiian guitar, if you have sustain piano sustain, the arpeggio going up, and when you get to the top of the arpeggio is when you bend it. So a held notes. That's where it bends. Or I can use this. And if I want to do just one finger play, Let's get this guy going here. <laughs>
your country band gotta have a jug.
Segovia. classical organ, whatever you want, and with the touch of one button, you can get this instrument to play 10 different total presets of meaning, so 10 times, times 100. And I think it works out really nice for those people who uh, like to have versatility. You don't have to use a bunch of registration discs if you have 100 built into it. So I like to do a little song that is typical of the Hammond organ sound. Uh, years ago, there was a record called Shangri-La. Remember the song called Shangri-La? And I would like to do is... Uh, <laughs> Let's see if we can get our drummer going here. 
take a nice easy tempo. Drummer, you're doing a very good job. Okay. Can you put a little fill in there? Sure, why not? Microphone. 